This is Phil Labatacola, producer, director, co-writer of Milkshake. And I'm Mark Gonzalez, co-writer of Milkshake. And here we go into the episode eight. Episode eight. This is uh, kind of a fun episode. Uh, we left you at last, uh, when last we parted, having recently learned that Lance has just done an incredible amount of drugs. Now we're going to see the results of that. Uh, I, this was a tough night. Uh, I, this doesn't get talked about often, I think, but... Um, so this shot here, before we continue, it mirrors the... Arby's shot. Arby's shot. I wanted to try to keep some consistency between our compositions. Mm-hmm. But um, we had some crazy shit happen on this night. On episode th- uh, sorry, episode four, we had a homeless man come up to us. Totally yeah. fine. And he wanted food. And I offer him... A sandwich? Homemade lamb and beef meatballs. They yeah. were fucking delicious. They were easily 10 bucks a... Uh, 12 bucks at a store. So he loved him and went away at some point. Uh, on Sunset Boulevard, everything changes. Everyone is 10 times crazier. Mm-hmm. And so some guy comes up to us mid this shot around here, puts his arms around, uh, sorry, puts his arms around Danny and says, Yo, man, where's the bus to get to Santa Monica? Oh, man, I got like BMWs and Mercedes, but I lost my keys. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man. I need to suck some dick. Yeah. Yeah, that's just too short. This is all, uh, what's the problem so far? No, This no. all seems reasonable to me. This is all, yeah, in a, in a normal day, going to work, this is all completely reasonable. I've lost my keys to all of my luxury sedans and needed to suck dick right away. <laughs> and then, some, maybe like an hour later, another guy comes up to us and says, Hey, man, did you film me? I said, ah. No, I don't think so. Uh, he's like, I need to see that footage. And his teeth are falling out of his head, and he, he reeks of methamphetamines. Mm-hmm. And I, we all think that we're going to have to kill somebody because we Just think he's going to kill this, us. Yeah. We, think, we think he's going to kill us. Uh, do we show him this five or seven minute take, however long it was, to prove that we hadn't shot him? And everything ended up being totally fine. And all I could think was that these two men were somebody's children. Yeah. <laughs> so boy. It's true. So this shot here, anyways, that was just a fun Hollywood story. Uh, shooting on the streets with no protection. So here, Lance's reality begins to break down because he's taking all these drugs. Uh, one of my favorite lines. Now, at this point, I think Drake has the line, you don't want to wind up uh, the infinity clock a, a and go bit does, sliding yeah. down gravity's rainbow. Right. Uh, apparently the actors had some difficulties understanding what the hell any of these lines meant. And because I wasn't there, I wasn't able to just say, you gotta do some drugs to find out, baby. Yeah, I handed But that was him. your explanation, correct? That's kind of what I said. Yeah. I said, if you ever done drugs? And then Lance said no. Or, or sorry, uh, Danny said no. And I said, have you ever done drugs to, to Ned? And he said, no. I said, well... Until you do them, it's hard to understand what it means to be stuck in time forever. Yeah. So, maybe you should. And I highly recommend... And then you tried to sell them some drugs. Yeah, I tried tried to sell them some... We're not interested. uh, Class 1 felony narcotics. They just said no. Lame. They were like, do you have a a grilled cheese sandwich? And I was like, yes. So so, so Lance's reality begins to break down here, and this was fun to shoot. Uh, It was difficult to to conceive a way of showing... Uh, hallucinations in a way that sort of hadn't been done before and I loved their performance here being stuck really really close together and you managed to get a lot of these really strange shots from practically right in camera with uh, just some really interesting lenses that you use that and editing so, so yeah. in, in these shots here where it goes from wow and we see uh, that Lance has sensed to the future it's just uh, I shot 4k Editing in 2K, and then just did a... I did several frames of zooming in and out uh, artificially, and then I offset frames by, like, I don't know, three or four frames in order to give the sense of drifting time. Uh, and then the same effect goes for the 20 kilohertz stroke. I just took... Or I duplicated frames and then just offset them uh, and then added some fun sound effects. But the, the stuff coming up soon, uh, the hallucination stuff, uh, is definitely <coughs> a different lens that I modified. Sorry. 
It's a few fucking jerks. That's you. what I care about, your Lynn's yeah, <laughs> dissertation. Your fucking face. So he starts to lose it. We're having a good... We're... This, this it's is kind of an ominous... Yeah, it's an ominous tone while also being really silly. And I think we're coming up on just the scene where the whole series loses its mind. Yeah, this is it. And so, this is where he also explains the whole plot of the series. He always had me come out on these stupid adventures to get a milkshake, and then something crazy happens. And well, that guy was really tall. Back that, I think that was a woman who was really tall. Wow. Who was a guy who was a woman. Mm. Yeah. It's Hollywood for you. So, so, so this scene, so, so Lance, uh, Drake calls out Lance uh, for his, it's obvious ploy uh, in taking the, quote candies in order to get out of taking the, the job because he's afraid of actually having to take a chance, a real shot at making it in his life. Now, I still don't know if he knew what he was doing, you know, which is kind of, I, I think it's left to be ambiguous enough to where the audience can decide. Did Lance really not think that those were drugs? I don't know. I mean... The, It'd be like me opening up a bag full of money and cocaine and be like, can I borrow some cash from this anonymous white powder covered cashola that you yeah. got? And then and then wondering later why he wants the fucking money back. It's it's you know it's it's pretty clear that those candies aren't exactly candies. This is this is a funny moment here, them staring at each other. I like uh, being able to capture this moment of them deciding whether or not each of them are real. Because there is no me. Yeah, I'm just fucking with you. I love it. <laughs> that was fun. So, yeah, Georgia Pine here comes up. And he chooses to go on this wild journey with him, which, that's friendship. Yeah, that's, that's real friendship here.